Hello everyone, welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Kevin, long time no see. No sé qué pasó ayer. You couldn't come to the class? No, no pude. But why? No importa, no oh yeah, you sent a message, it's true, you sent a message. You had a problem mm -hmm. with the Wi-Fi? Oh, okay. So I was like, I haven't seen this Kevin in a long time, but now I see. Excellent. It's a good thing that it's working out for you today. Okay. Thank you very much for your punctuality. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. You know that we are in the last classes of this, um, of this module because we only have today and then we have tomorrow, right? And then we finished, right? So we're going to continue today with the section number five. We practiced a conversation yesterday about a person visiting New Orleans, right? New Orleans. Orleans. Okay, New Orleans. Okay, so here is the conversation. And then we changed that conversation. And we were talking about places in El Salvador, right? Like we were telling a person about different places they can visit here in El Salvador. But what it is important here in this conversation is you pay attention to this. Let me see. To have been, right? Then we have, have you been, okay? And, okay. So these phrases here, they are using a present perfect, okay? So that is the topic we're going to be paying attention to today, to the present perfect. I think it's a topic that maybe that you have seen already, you have studied already, but we're going to study it in a more, I don't know, like get deeper into this topic, okay? So let's see. We're going to use the present perfect now with already and yet, okay? how do we use these phrases with the present perfect okay so let's pay attention to this video and then i'm going to explain a little bit more let me share the sound for the video there we go hi in this lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles i want you to concentrate on these new tense notice how it is formed Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. 
No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, so basically what it's explaining is the present perfect, which is a topic that maybe you already know. And also uh, we are talking about how to use already and yet with this present perfect, right? Now, before we get into it, let's do like a review of the present perfect, okay? So in the present perfect, as the person in the video was saying, right? We use the third column, the third column in the verbs, right? You remember we have the verb to be, then we have was and where, and then we have been, right? You remember that? For all the verbs, like usually verbs don't change because we can use modals or auxiliaries, but in this case, they change, okay? In the base form, they have one form, past and past participle, okay? So I'm going to send you a link give me a moment where are where are you wait a second you guys I have the link here okay here I have it I'm gonna copy a link and I'm gonna send it to you Okay, so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to share this on my screen as well. Okay, there you have it. That link is going to take you to a web page where you can see the most common English uh, verbs, right? And they are in the three forms, present or base form. Okay, this one. Then they are in the simple past, and then they are in the past participle. What is really interesting about these uh, web pages, you can also listen to them. To be, were, been. Okay, so you can see all these verbs right here. They are not all the verbs, 
but the most common ones. And if you can see down here, you're gonna go to two, to three, to four, and you're gonna see more verbs and more and more and more verbs, okay? So, uh, let's see, let's see one. So this one, listen. To show, showed, shown. So right now, what we're going to pay attention to is to this third line, okay? This line is the one that I'm going to be paying attention to because with the person perfect, we're going to use this part of the verbs, okay? Listen to that. I want you to pay attention to that. Okay, let's go with the rules. Okay, so we have affirmatives. For example, we have the subject, obviously. We have have or has. Then we have the verb in the past participle, right? And then we have a complement if you like. Okay. So here we have it. It's like, I have played soccer before. Okay. This is an example. Another one can be, you have traveled to Guatemala, okay? They have lived in the city for five years, okay? Sorry. Okay, like that. So if you pay attention here, we follow the rules. Subject, our has, uh, verb in the past participle, and a complement. Now it is important, and I'm gonna write that here because it's important for you to see it. The present perfect, we have two forms. Have, we use it with the subjects they, well, I mean, I, you, we, and they, okay? And then we have has. In has, we use it with he, she, it. So the third person singular, right? Like that, okay? Give me a second, give me a second. Okay. Now, for the negatives, we're gonna do something similar. It's pretty similar. But in this case, I'm going to use the um, auxiliary verb, which is have or has in the negative form. Okay, so I have the same subject, but here I have haven't, okay, which is the abbreviation of have not. We have hasn't, okay, and we have the verb, obviously always in the past participle, and we have a call. Like that. So we have this one, the first one. We're gonna make it negative. So I have played soccer before. In this case, will be I haven't. It's so the same. It doesn't change. Play soccer before. Next one. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. You haven't been to Guatemala. Please send to the chat the last one. Como quedaría en negative the last one? Mándenlo al chat. I will, I'm going to be waiting. Okay, I'm waiting for your answers in the chat. Estoy esperando sus respuestas en el chat. Okay, let's see.
you're going to change only the auxiliary into negative. Okay, we're going to change the auxiliary into negative. That's the only thing I want to see in the Zoom chat, please. Excellent, Maximiliano. Thank you for your answer. Excellent, Jose Ramon. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much to the student who sent the sentences. Okay, so yes, it's they haven't, of course it's negative, lived in the city for five years. Okay, like that, easy peasy, okay? Now, do you have questions about that topic? Questions? No questions? All good? All clear? Okay. If it is all clear, then we're going to do an activity. Let me send you the link to the activity. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to work on that. And let me share the screen. This is what we're going to do. Okay. So here we have affirmatives and negatives as well. So we're just going to add the have or has and the verb in the past participle. For example, in this one will be, I have studied, right? I have studied. She, what is the auxiliary for she? Has. Has, correct. So she has, and the past participle of it, do you know what is the past participle of it? Eden. Eden, good job. They have, what is the past participle be? Being. Being, good job. Okay, and then you're gonna go to the negatives. In the negatives, you're gonna be like, we, it's haven't. What is the past participle of be? Been. Excellent. Then we have she, what is the auxiliary for she? Has. 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 Yeah, Hasn't. exactly. And with see? Seen. Seen. Then when you finish, you're gonna go here, you're gonna click on finish and you're gonna click check my answers. You see, we had them correct. Yeah, we have them correct. But pay attention here in this part, you have the grade. So when you finish, take a screenshot of this part and send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this in groups. So I'm gonna... Um, assign you to different groups. Let me see. Okay, there we go.
Kevin, Jose, you have the invites. La segunda también. Sí, uh -huh. Y te va con doble teo. Mire. Mm -mm. Only one T. Yeah. Just one. Y aquí el ruido del pasado de ruido no es lo mismo. We will. We have. Eating. She won. Jay has. Hey, be careful been. with the study. The study. The, the, uh, why change for I? It's not the number one. Oh. It's for I. Good. Uh, it is. Yes, yeah, study. Yes. We have.
<laughs> hey, what is the one that was grown? Show me. Uh, Where did you have? Okay, okay. Number we. Sorry, teacher. Oh my sorry, God. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was B, okay. What it? Solo esa. Oh, okay. Let me see. Uh, you have to. Met. Yeah, it's met. Yeah, and I think in number eight, I think in love hurts. Yeah, <laughs> the simple present. It hasn't hurt. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but you know love hurts, teacher. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Not all the time, but it does. English also hurts. <laughs> yes. Sometimes like this. When it hurts, we learn. Okay, so we finished that activity. So those were affirmatives and negatives. Now let's go with interrogatives, just to make, like continue with the review. Then we're gonna apply the already and yet, okay? Now, for the present perfect, but questions, oh, sorry. The only thing is, well, and this is a general rule, Siempre que tenemos auxiliares o modales, ellos nos ayudan a preguntar, okay? So in this case, we have have or we have has, right? Then we have the subject. Then we have the verb in the past participle. And then we have a couple. Okay? Let's make a question. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. There's something that we can add. And I'm gonna put it up here. You can add, what is it, ever, ever. It's like alguna vez, okay? It is very important to use it in this context, okay? So for example, I have, have you been to Mexico or Mexico? Right. Or I can use the ever, and the ever goes after you. Have you ever, like this, have you ever been to Mexico? Mexico. 
Next. Has he ever played soccer? Has he ever played soccer before? ¿Hay alguna vez jugado soccer antes? Okay. Has he ever played soccer before? Now, for the questions, we have two types of answer, like always. The affirmative and the negative. For the affirmative, I'm going to answer yes, subject, and the auxiliary, okay? So in this case, because they are asking me, right, me, I'm going to say yes, I have. have. Good job. Oh. And for the negative form, easy again, I'm going to answer no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, in the next case, they are also asking me, again, me. Have you ever been to Mexico? I can say, yes, I have. I can say, no, I haven't. But, también puedo responder de esta manera. Pay attention. I, no, you can say, no. Wait, no, and you say, I have never. And this is another negative form, okay? For negative, you can answer this way or this way, okay? Even more if you have the word ever in the question. Next question says, has he ever played soccer before? Because we're talking about he, how is going to be the answer? Yes. He has. He has. Okay. For the negative form, we're going to answer no. He hasn't. Hasn't. Or we can also say no. He has never. O el nunca lo ha hecho. Yes? That's what it means. Questions so far? Do you have questions about this? No. Is there? You can you hear? Teacher, me? I have a question. Jose, you have a question. Uh, uh, and the the question, uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, we always have to use ever. In the questions. Yes. Yes. No in the question. No. Like in this one, look at this one. I didn't use ever here. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. That is op optional. And it means like alguna uh, vez. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. More questions? Uh, teacher, una, una pregunta. Uno yeah. puede utilizar solo have you been to Mexico, Mexico? Mm -hmm. or, puede, or have you ever been to Mexico? Okay, the same answer like Ramon. It's optional. It's it's optional. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that we are understanding this part, and I know when I send you to work in the break rooms, you make mistakes, but let's call them finger mistakes. Like, okay. Now we're gonna go with the question. You just have to complete with the auxiliary or modal and the verb in the past participle. You have to look at the verb which is in the parentheses, like in this case. For example, in this case is it in the parentheses and the subject is you. So obviously I have to use have you eaten. Now in this case, the subject is Sara. What is the auxiliary for Sara? Has. 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 So obviously I'm gonna say has. And then finished. What is the past participle of finish? Finished. 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 Finished, right? Let me copy this. And then I'm going to go here, finish, check my answers. You see? It is correct. It's pretty easy, pretty simple to do. Let's go. Then we're going to play a Kahoot about this. Be ready. Okay? Because I know you are competitive people. <laughs> Yeah, you are. Okay, let me see. Okay, there we go.
Hello, Tito. Hello, teacher. Fíjese que me salí, no sé cómo. ¿Me puede volver a enviar? Yes, of course.
Okay, what are we going to do now? We're gonna do the next um, explanation, let's say. So we have words, when we use the present perfect, we can use other types of work, words. I mean, like you can use yet, you can use since, you can use in, I mean, or I mean, or and since. Okay. So for example, let's see the some of the uses of for these words, okay? Yet, we're gonna use it when we haven't done an activity, okay? So for example, you can say, I haven't, oh, no, no, sorry. You can also use already, right? Sorry, el que estaba explicando en el video. Okay. So you can say, I haven't finished the platform yet, okay? And in this case, you're saying that you haven't completed this activity, just not yet, but you can complete it um, next. And we have another one that you can say since, for example, I, or oh no, I mean, let's say she. She has studied um, English since, 2022, let's say, right? You're gonna tell me the time when this activity started, okay? So uh, she has studied English since 2022. Now we can use since as well, but with another type of answers. They haven't, I mean, with the questions and sentences, they haven't been to Europe Wait, okay, that's right. Like that. They haven't been to Europe since 2018. So they went to Europe in 2018, that's what I know. But since that time, they have never gone back to Europe, okay? So that's what I'm saying. That activity happened in that moment. Now, let's see another one, four. Uh, he has worked in the company and four i'm gonna say the quantity of years right i can say well i can say this for example he has worked in the company since 2020 but if i want to say it in years i'm gonna say like he has worked in the company for one two three let's say three years right you see it is different because with years, I am saying the time that has happened for three years, for two months, for one day, whatever. Now with already, it is different. For example, with the already, we're gonna use it between the subject and the modal or auxiliary. So I, no, I mean have, pardon, I mean, sorry, have in the past participle. I have already finished my homework, you see, I'm oh, sorry. I have already finished my homework. So I'm using already between have and the past participle. I have already finished my homework. That means that I completed that activity, right? It's done. Questions? Teacher. Mm -hmm. the, then yet we can use the the word when we use um negative form right? for example the first one I haven't mm -hmm. finished the plasma yet yeah. and already when we finish uh, something for example I have already finished my homework Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. we finished. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. And actually, it, yet is most often used with negatives and already is most often used with affirmatives, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. 
No questions? Teacher, una consulta. Si uno pregunta, have you finished the platform? Se lo puede responder uno, no yet. Yeah, yeah, that can be an answer. You can say, I have not finished the platform yet. That's a complete answer, but you can say, not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. And also, if they ask, for example, eh, have you worked or have you been to Europe? And yeah, I already have. I already have also. You can say already like a short answer. Teacher. Mm -hmm. e, e still. Still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can also use still. That's another one you could use. Yeah. Okay. Still means like um aun, right? Still. It means like aun. Let's see one example that I can give you with still. Wait a minute. I'm gonna use the subject. Ready? Wait a second. Creo que va siempre por el sujeto. Yeah, between is like a, I. No, 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 no es el otro. Es como already le iba a decir, pero no. Is I still haven't, for example, I still haven't finished my my homework and me as well, okay? So in this case, sorry, my dyslexia. Okay, I still haven't finished my homework. So I can use it in negative form, like in this one, right? But just in the case that yet goes at the end of the sentence and it still goes just um, after the the verb, the, the, I mean the subject, and between the subject and the modal verb, right? Let's say another one. Mm, she still, she still hasn't, yeah, it's with negatives still. She still hasn't, mm, she still hasn't cooked the meal, for example, right? And this is another one, yet and still, we're gonna mostly use it with negatives, okay? And already with affirmatives, okay? More questions? Because if you don't have more questions, we're gonna go with the Kahoot. Okay, I'm guessing that's no more questions. <clears throat> okay, let me share the Kahoot link so you can play. Um, wait a moment. I don't know why Google is not working. Tengo que meterme a Mozilla porque Google is not working today, I don't know. Wait a second, ya les mando el link para que crecen sus nombres. Ok, there. Okay, we have Max. Don't for participants, Carlos, Ramon, Max, and Kevin. Mampadilla, excellent. What about Roberto? Excellent, we have Roberto there. Okay. 
Agora vou ao Tito. Será o rum, ok? Ui, se desconectou alguém. Bueno, esperamos um minuto mais para que alguém se vuelva. E then we start. Okay, let's start. Ahí lo vamos. Be ready. Get ready. Excellent. The positions. We have Max in first place, Ramon second, Carlos third, Kevin fourth, and Roberto fifth place. The only one wrong is is, is has, right? Remember, the auxiliary for she is has. Max, Ramon, Kevin, Carlos, and Roberto now. Yeah, we just saw that. Excellent. Oh, okay. It changed. So we have Max, Ramon, Kevin, Roberto, and Juan Padilla. Okay. Oh, sorry, esto no los expliqué todavía. Acaban de, justo ahorita, justo. Exactly. Or oh, remember que yet va al final. El just es como acaban de. They just arrived. Okay, next. Okay, we're changing. Ma Max, Kevin, Ramon, Roberto, Juan. We haven't got out, okay. It's a negative form, so. Yet, remember, yet. El already va aquí, we have already, okay, sería. Okay, okay, it, it's changing. Este podium está cambiando mucho. Max, Kevin, Ramon, Juan, and Roberto. Easy, está fácil esa. Exactly, is have, because the auxiliary for we is have. Excellent is has because the else is it, right? It cannot be um have because for it, he, she, it is has. It cannot be it. 
Estamos hablando del present perfect, remember. Same positions. Exactly. Have you ever been? Ah, uh, no, won't, no. Is the past participle. Oh my God, it changed. So we have Max, Ramon, Kevin, Juan Padilla, and Carlos. Have you? Se las acabo de enseñar. Ever, have you ever, alguna vez, have you ever played golf? Okay, same positions, same places. We haven't seen you. Oh. Por mucho tiempo. Aha, uh -huh, for a long time. Same places. My aunt has lived in Madrid. Okay, ¿qué decíamos? Desde... Oh my God, that was quick. <laughs> Por lo menos sé que se quedó claro. <laughs> That's clear. Excellent, same places. She has been there. Me decía lo mismo que él por los años, por los meses, por los días. <coughs> Excellent, for, for three days. Okay, now Kevin is in the second place. Ramon is in the third place. That changed. Next question. We've been waiting desde, right? Remember, desde, desde esa hora. Oh my God, what happened here? No, it seems, right? Desde las nueve, since nine o'clock. Oh, pero no cambió nada, no cambió nada. La same uh, place. perdí la conexión. No. <laughs> no, that is not good. Okay, we have Max, Kevin, Ramon, Juan, and Carlos, the same positions. All of us have been learning English desde que teníamos tres años, right? Nah, ahí ya le doy la clave. With that word, desde, right? Huh. Okay, okay, now Carlos is in fourth place and Juan is in fifth place. Oh, Carlos, I'm sorry about that. Dice que tiene red lenta. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. We have met Pedro for five years. Por, des, por cuatro años. De, des, desde cinco años? Desde cinco años? No. Por cinco años? Sí. Right? Makes sense. Okay. Same places. Max, Kevin, Ramon, Carlos, and Juan. 16, let's go with this new one. How long have you, English, have you past participle of a study? Studied English, yes. Carlos, if you want, you can turn off the camera. Puede apagar la cámara para que le funcione mejor el internet ahorita. Okay, Carlos. que sí le funciona más rápido porque veo que tiene problemas. Carlos Enrique. Ok, ahí estamos. Excelente. Para que no me le dé problemas. Ok, let's go with the next one. Same places. How long has she, her dog? ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido? What happened here? 
Only three? How long has she had her dog? Okay. How long have you conocerla? What is the past participle of no? Three seconds, three, two, one, go. Known, known, new is just the past. To know is an infinitive, right? So that cannot be the case. Let's go with the next one. Well, same places, same places. Nothing is changing. How long she had a car? How long? The auxiliary for the third person is? What is the auxiliary for she? The modal verb for she? Have or has? has. Correct. It's has. Not to have. No, to have is an infinitive. Right? Okay. Same places. How long you've been in this school? How long? Por cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuál es el auxiliary for you? What is the auxiliary uh, for you? <laughs> it's have. Yeah. Same places. Ah, no está cambiando. This podium is not changing now. Okay. Have you para preguntas, el que estaba más que usamos más para for questions. For questions we use alguna vez ever. Yes, that is correct. Remember, for questions we mostly use ever because it means like alguna vez. Okay, same places. Nos faltan ya a few questions in the same places. I have, okay, nunca. I, I, I've, Que alguna vez he conducido, right? <gasps> what happened here? No. That's the smallest car I have ever driven. Que alguna vez he conducido, right? Um, never cannot be. Que yo nunca he manejado. No, that cannot be true. And the other one, still, no. Okay, same places yet. I can decide. I, okay, aquí decíamos, ¿cuál es el único que va en medio del subject? Y el, ahí vaya la respuesta, se acaba, se acaba el tiempo, se acaba el tiempo, se acaba el tiempo, no. Oh my goodness, decíamos, ¿cuál es el único? ¿Se recuerdan que dijimos cuál es el único que va en medio del sujeto igual? Ya. Es un steel. Only steel. steel. Yeah. Ok. Bueno, un momento. Sorry about this. Ok, there we go. The teacher, y va después de el subject, miren, the teacher, the teacher, be ready, lo acabamos de hablar, the teacher, still, yes, good job, good job. Well, same places. I can believe it, Carol, uh -huh. same thing the same thing st 
Still, no, why did you put already? Already is not there. Still in this part, already goes here. Like Caro has already phoned me, right? Or yet goes at the end. Let's go. Remember, past participle. Book es como reservar, ¿verdad? What is the past participle? Yeah, have booked. No están cambiando estos places. <laughs> Same. So we have Max. We have Kevin. We have Ramon. We have... Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, okay, so we have, I, I said, we have Max, we had Kevin, we have Ramon, we have Juan, I mean, Carlos, and we have Juan Padilla. Only three more questions to go. The cat just, hmm, pero tenemos que usar el auxiliary, el correct auxiliary. Yeah. Yeah, just has caught because this is the past participle, right? Same places. Oh my goodness. Only two more questions. I. I have just fed, excellent, good job. Okay, and this is the last question, you guys. Be ready, last question. Same places. Solo que Carlos and Ramon, they are really close. O sea, que alguien podría, no, no, en realidad no tan close. No, no están, yo creo que van a terminar en los mismos lugares. <laughs> Children. Have done. ¿Por qué me pusieron has done? Children. Me equivoqué, un... me equivoqué. <laughs> Children <laughs> is a plural noun. Yeah. It's a plural. Yeah. It's a plural. Let's see. Vamos a ver cómo quedó el podium. Ramón in third place. Excellent. Second place is for Kevin. And the first place is for Max. Excellent. Let's see. Quien queda en fourth place? Carlos and Juan in the first place. Excellent, you guys. Good job. Vamos a ver qué notas nos sacamos en conjunto también. Porque aquí nos dice qué nota nos sacamos. What is the grade for the group? Let's see. Summary. Oh, we got a 7.2. 72%. So this one was a difficult one. And this one. The number... 23 and the number 24 were difficult questions for you. It seems like, okay. So, excellent. That was good. Good job. Okay. So, you like this game, right? I know, I know you're very competitive people. Yes, I can see that you're very, very competitive, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, let's continue. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened with my my Chrome, my Google Chrome is not working in this moment, but still, we're gonna do one activity. Let me show you my screen. Vamos a hacer en esta actividad. What are we going to do in this activity? Listen. Vamos a ordenar, las palabras están, eh, por ejemplo, we have the subject and we have the verb in the, um, infinitive and we have the complement. So what we have to add here is the auxiliary. So what is the auxiliary or the modal verb for Mario? Because he's a third person. As. 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 And then we're gonna put the um the verb in the past participle. What is the past participle of change? Changed. 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 So we are gonna write Mario has changed the fuse. Okay. 
Yes. What is the first teacher? What is the meaning? Uh, like, uh, el como el foco. Like, no, 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 el fusible, el fusible, I'm sorry, fusible. Uh, mm -hmm, the fuse. Okay, aquí, this one is negative, right? So pay attention, if it has the not, it is negative then, okay? I'm going to send you the screenshot so you can work on this. Para ver si mientras arreglo mi, my computer. I don't know what is happening with it today. Okay, there you have it. Okay, let's go.
تکنیسیان هست شرکت دیگه سی Ajá. Ha llevado el EP aquí. <ríe> Creo que stop. Lleva el EP. Yeah. Ah, ¿Crees que sí? La <ríe> ya decía yo. Pero estaba cerca, casi buena. Medio punto, pues. <ríe> <What? ríe> ah. Ay, se comió el otro. Fine. Ok, por team, or team, nuestro Ajá. equipo, si yo lo pudiera cambiar, ya lo pudiera cambiar, sería por it, right? It has, no have, right? Or team. Ok. Ay, qué mal. ¿Podemos corregir eso todo o ya lo tienen? Sí. Ajá. Sí, se puede corregir. Let's try. The technician has check 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 Ok, si yo pudiera cambiar or team por un sujeto, nuestro equipo sería por it, right? El ah, equipo. Okay. So, the auxiliary should be? Has. Correct. Mm -hmm. ¿Tienes eso? Ok,
Okay, let's do this exercise together, okay? Let's see the classmates. Okay, they're coming back. Okay, here we have the first exercise. This is a uh, 5.4 in the section five, okay? And we're gonna do this. You much exercise this week. So the verb is do. Obviously we need the auxiliary. What's, what is the auxiliary for you? Have. In have. The, uh, past participle of do? Done. Correct. Let's go. Yes, I. What is the auxiliary for I? I have. Okay. And what is the past participle of be? Being. So have. have been. Been. Correct. The auxiliary for you? How? And the past participle of play? Played. Played, right? Played. No, I. No, I. Haven't had. Haven't had. No he tenido el tiempo. How many movies? What is the auxiliary for you? How? And the auxiliary for, I mean, the past participle of C. Sim. Sim. That would be number two. Actually, I see what is the auxiliary is have in the past participle of C. Sim. Okay, so I haven't seen. You, so have, what is the past have. participle of B? Been. All right. Been. No, I. I, it is the past participle um, of go? Gone. I haven't gone. Oh. Gone. No, it's gone? Gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, gone. Uh, and the, the past, past participle for cold? Cold. Cold. Yes, I, what is the past participle of make? May. So we select this. All of them correct. Good job. Okay. Now let's go here with a conversation. Hi, everyone. A conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. Déjeme ver si lo puedo poner en mejor calidad. Porque... Tal vez si me voy para YouTube... Es mala calidad el video. Oh, la tengo en, oh, en realidad, la tengo en máxima. Oh, my God. Listen to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, let me send you the screenshot of this. The best I could do. Let 
yo creo que está en el manual, pero yo no sé por qué. Díganme si se alcanza a ver bien ahí, please tell me. Véanlo en el chat. I don't know if it, if it is. Se ve bien. Can you see it with? Yes, no, black, white. Yes, I can, yeah. You can? Okay, because I don't know. I have it here on a... In the manual is a little blurry too. Yeah, I share it already. Looking at that. Yeah, it's a little bit blurry. Blurry. Share it with you guys. Yeah. Very blurry. No, no. We're going to practice um from there, from the one that I sent you. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna read this conversation for you and I'm gonna send you pronunciation as well. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. And let me send you the audio. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No. Only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have it settled several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. So we can go and practice this conversation. Let's see. Let's go.
okay, let's practice. Let's do this last activity so we can go. And remember, we only have one more class, tomorrow's class, and that's it. Okay, let's go with Juan Carlos Padilla and Jose Ramon Polanco. Juan Carlos, you start. I'm sorry, I am late. Had you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Let's go now with Kevin and Carlos Enrique. Kevin, you start. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Excellent. Thank you very much for those participations. Let's give them applause to the ones that participated. Thank you very much. Okay, you guys, remember, tomorrow we have the last class. Okay? Please try to finish the platform by today. So tomorrow we only do a review. Yes? Yes. Okay. Have a good night. I mean, good afternoon and good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Take, Take care. care. Bye. Take care, too. Bye-bye.